Hi there. So today I'd like to talk about um, community and um, what the trees and the, the earth spirits have really taught me about community. And you know the way that it's come through to me is um, I was at a time in my life when I realised that I had been um, very much adrift from the communities that I was in, um, in family and friendship and work as well. And that was largely to do with what was happening in my inner world, you know, what was happening for me inside. And what was happening inside for me was a realisation that things had gone very wrong and um, it wasn't feeling safe. Um, and there was a real yearning for truth. And as I tune into that now, I'm being reminded that I have always um, connected really deeply with the trees and the plants and the land. And kind of like that has been my compass. That has been my guiding force a lot. Um, so really understanding that I was here to kind of channel the wisdom from the plants and the trees and bring, I suppose, a different perspective. And just honouring the fact that that made me feel quite adrift a lot of the time. So just speaking into that experience of feeling maybe between two worlds in some ways. And I really understood and could sense a lack of foundations, you know. And I started to kind of have this idea of like, well, what would happen if, you know, what would... What would these situations have been if there had been maybe a circle of elders um, holding me? Or maybe there was more common um, communion with ancestors, That if that was more spoken. Or maybe if there was more witnessing of the truth of hearts. Maybe if there was more um, if the heart that I had in my body that felt really distant at times and kind of painful for not being heard um, could be easily ac accessed and voiced and kind of what if the inner power that we all possess could be more present and I, I really feel that these are foundations you know these are the things that we require to be able to function so we come into the world very much kind of like with the expectation and the and the um, need to do and then what comes in later life is this reflection of well realizations and reflections that there could have been more being and more feeling and maybe that would have led to different decisions being made and maybe there would have been slower outcomes and the way that I sense this is like I've kind of lived my life um, between worlds if you like and always had this awareness that when things have got really difficult I'd had this kind of like feeling of um, branches around my shoulder sort of gathering me in bringing me back to the fold and you know retrieval of soul parts that have been in the earth or really kind of like a deep wisdom from the trees of we can see you as you are you know you don't need to pretend with us and it's welcome and having that foundation has enabled me to really really grow my inner world very very deeply and having that deep foundation has helped me to feel safe in the world when I wouldn't other otherwise have done. So in many ways that soul team, the kind of the, the spirit guides have been my 
my community. And then later on came many, many beautiful people who came into my life to support that process as well. And it's been long, you know, it's been really long and deep. And um, so what's really coming through is really retelling how my foundations came back um, after not being present, after being in relationship which revealed to me where my foundations were not, after being in situations which revealed to me what was missing. And that's very much how we become aware of these things. Um, and witnessing each other, you know, having that healing team as each other. And that's what tending the roots is about. It's about being um, very much aware that baseline is it's missing. You know, let's just, let's not pretend that we've got it all together because we haven't, you know. If we had, we'd be in a very, very different position. So these roots that I speak of, these foundations, to a greater or lesser degree, they haven't been recognised in this incarnation up until now, hugely. So the invitation is a nine-month because it's a beautiful gestation of life, of new life, new ways, um, to really tend those roots gently, you know. And it's based on the energy body, based on the chakras, but also based on our relationship with the world. So I'm bringing in the tree spirits into that, the plant spirits. And that's what my tree and plant spirit guys tell me all the time, that, you know, we're part of your team and your life and sort of reimagining a future where we bring in our allies from the soil, from the earth, from the plants, from the trees, really helps us to make better decisions. You know, when we commune with ancestors and really honour births and the babies and the children that are coming through, then we know that what we're creating has deep foundations, has deep roots, you know. Um, and so for many of us, just connecting with those aspects of ourselves, with that inner, more vulnerable child or the deep, deep, wise wisdom of the ancestors and the ancients, that that is present within us. Simply working from that perspective and witnessing that in each other, that's the vessel, you know, that's the healing, that's the channel. Um, and I'm just so grateful to um like my heart is singing now that its truth is being heard you know that i'm not kind of pretending that it's not happening that i'm not speaking and communing with the trees and the earth and you know there'll be truths for you to share that will be gifts for others and that's that's what it's about you know it's really kind of deepening our listening and our connection and our witnessing of each other um I have a beautiful little space on my website and that is really connected with the fact that my human design is kind of like a cave because <laughs> I'm a two for um, emotional projector. So these um, codes that I have are about kind of like going into the cave, really intimate, close community and rebuilding from there through the wisdom of emotion. And um, just saying that feels really, yeah, really, really lovely to share. So thank you for listening. And um, I really hope you will um, join the journey together. And yeah, just setting the intention that we create something that is really new foundations, supportive to us all for generations to come and that we look forward to a future with open hearts and hope sending so much love and um yeah if that resonates i'd really love to hear from you